In this present crisis, government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem. All right, so while we're over here at the show, we said, uh, you know, we really got to check out a couple of blades because not everybody is a knife guy right, or a gun guy right off the bat. So we said, well, what better place to check than, than Benchmade? So we stopped over and run into a friend, Matt Elliott, and he's going to show us a couple of the products that Benchmade's got out for this year. Matt, thank you very much for sp sparing us a little bit of time. Yeah, of course. Tell us a little bit about this. This is... this the is. Right. Yeah, the bailout. The bailout is an awesome knife. It's brand new for us. We just released it at the NRA show. And my favorite, well, there's three parts of the bailout that I really like. My favorite is this new Tonto blade that we're doing on this particular knife. It's more of a traditional looking Tonto than we've done in the past. And you can see most of the Tontos from Benchmade, they'll have a Tonto point on them and then they come down this way and they're very square to the edge and the handle. This one has more of the traditional katana looking Tonto. So it actually has a slight radius to it and it gives it a really beautiful look and you get a little bit better cutting edge as a result. And the benefit to a Tonto, of course, is you get a lot of tip strength for puncturing. Right. Now this knife, as you've got it in your hand, you can feel how light it is. Yeah, it's exceptionally light and the mechanism on there is about as smooth as you're possibly gonna get. Yeah. And if you have a big hand, you know, sometimes people try, it's, it's difficult to manipulate a smaller knife if you have a big hand because you, you don't get into that little thumb control. But this, my hand fits, fits fairly well. Right. And, and it's I, the axis lock, so it's totally ambidextrous either and, way. And you got a loop on the back, so you can put that on a lanyard. Yeah, and, and that's actually a striking pommel, too. So you could use this for breaking glass if you need to for yeah. automotive extrication. Yeah, or negotiating things, for yeah. sure. But what is the weight on this? It's got to be less than two and a half ounces? Two ounces. Yeah, good wow. guess. Two two point zero five ounces. So it's, it's one of the lightest knives we've ever made. It's very slim, so it's nice as far as concealability if you're laying down. Like, if you're laying prone, for instance, it's not uncomfortable to have in your pocket. Yeah, it is, it is very thin. Yeah. That. And that has 3V blade steel, which is also a really interesting story. And that's the third component behind the Tonto blade, the weight. Then you have this 3V blade steel. We have that same blade steel in the first knife. We used that in the 200 Puko. And when we tested that knife, this steel is incredibly durable. So we have a brake strength tester that puts side load on knives so we can test how much pressure can you put sideways on a knife before it snaps. That Puko is the only knife we've ever put in that brake strength tester in a side load that didn't break. It bent to 90 degrees and then came back almost all the way. I mean, it was still ruined, but the fact that it didn't snap was incredible. Nice. And what do we got here with this one? This knife is a big tactical folder. This is the 980 turret. It's named a turret because it does borrow some sort of features or looks from like a tank turret. And it has that kind of tank feel to it. It's a big tactical folder. It's got a full hand feel. It's got good tractability on the handle, especially for gloved hands. And unlike our Adamus series, this one has more of a slim slicing type blade with a big high grind. And that high grind is going to give you better edge geometries coming into your edge so that you're going to get better slicing, better resharpenability over time. You also have a partially serrated blade. You do, you do. And this axis mechanism, you're looking at full steel liners on this. And those combined with this axis makes this the third strongest axis knife or third strongest folding mechanism from Benchmade we've ever made. Now, there's one more blade that I that caught my eye on here and I said, well, that, the steel on that looks a little unique. Let's, yeah. let's take a look at this one. Yeah, and there's a lot of unique features about this. So this, this knife is the gold class version of our bug out. The model number on the bug out is a 535. This is the 535 191, it's 2019. So the 19 is for 2019. So these are limited edition knives. This has some hidden features too we can talk about. But what caught your eye is the Damascus. Yes. In this knife, it's Damascus steel, which is a Swedish steel. It's a powder metal steel. Damascus as a steel is very cool, very artistic. And what you're doing with Damascus is you're folding steel, like a high carbon steel and a stainless steel together. Uh, the unfortunate result of that from a performance standpoint is that you now have taken a high carbon steel with poor corrosion resistance but good edge retention 
and a high stainless steel with good corrosion resistance but poor edge retention and married the two together to create sort of a subpar edge performance. What Dama Steel is able to do is through powder metallurgy is take two different steels, blend them together in a way that gives you the pattern but you don't lose the corrosion resistance or the edge retention. So it, it's superior from a performance standpoint. The, the knife here is everything in this knife because the bug out, just like the bailout, is about lightweight all sort of borrows from that same philosophy. So you've got carbon fiber, you've got the C-Tech, which is like a aluminum wire mesh with a resin, a blue resin built into it. Now the secret feature that you can't see and we won't probably be able to show on camera is that it glows in the dark. So underneath this C-Tech is a glow in the dark band. So if you shine a flashlight on this and then, you know, put your hands over it, which you can actually, if you did that, you could see the whole knife glows, and the resin in, in the carbon fiber also glows in the dark. Well, at a later date, if one of these finds its way into my collection, I'll take a couple of pictures of it at night for you, just, and I'll come back and re-edit the video, throw them in there. But this is, and that pattern is going to be unique on every one of these that you get as the manufacturing process takes hold. So that's right. And yeah, and that too is just under three ounces. Yeah, also very lightweight. It feels fantastic. Now, one knife that caught my eye personally, that I said, well. You know, I'm, I just want to handle it because it looks really cool. You hold that for a second. Yes. I says I got to get one of these and throw it in my boot. So that's about as cool as it gets. Tell, tell me about these. I'm sure some people already know about them. They've been around a while, but this is sort of a signature piece for Benchmade. That's right. Yeah, that's that's the Sock P or Special Operations Combatives Program dagger. The Sock P program from Greg Thompson is one of the standard CQB training doctrines for Army Special Forces. And this is the knife model that a lot of the program is built around. So the slimness and that interestingly unique sheath, that's designed to slide inside of webbing with the Molly system. And then the way that that ring works there is that you come in underneath it, you would, you would probably kit it up so it's center mass. You come in with your finger like you are there over the top. And then you've got a knife with you that you can use to sort of clear or gain space. And then if you go back to needing to put something else in your hand, this particular model, if you want to just hold on to that sheath, now you've got a ring so you don't have to put the knife down. One of the things that Greg Thompson, in talking with the people he was talking to about developing this, was trying to solve for is they would get into a scenario where they got to pull a knife out. You know, they got bad guys in the room or whatever. They take care of the situation. Well, now they have this fixed blade knife out. And what... What are they going to do with it? they got to put it down on the ground. They don't want to do that. So right. this allows you to actually manipulate things while it's still in your hand, and it's slim enough so if you need to go to a sidearm or whatever, you can... Yeah once, yeah. yeah, once that's actually in your hand, you don't even really feel that it's there. It's It folds right into the folds of your fingers, so it actually has, like, almost no mass to it. It just feels fantastic. And, you know, if you have, if you have to do business, this is definitely something that you want to do business with. Yes. This is awesome. What is your price point on one of these? Uh, $135 is MSRP. That's not bad. I say, and uh, give us some prices on, on some of the rest of these, just so we have an idea. So here you're in the, the low 200s with the turret. The bailout, $160. It's more of a sort of core entry level for Benchmade knife. Now, this knife, now you're getting into the $800 range. Just as a gold class knife, these are very high end with very high end materials. So you can you can run the range anywhere from the low $100 up into the thousands with the gold class when it comes to Benchmade. Well, we cover the spectrum. Well, Matt, thank you very much for having given us a little bit of time and a little tour of some of the Benchmade products. And if you guys want to check them out, where can you find the product? Well, I would always recommend somebody looks for us at one of our dealers. Okay. We have a, a huge network of independent dealers across the United States, a lot of gun stores that I'm sure your member base is familiar with will sell Benchmade knives. Right. Fantastic. So there you go from the NRA annual meeting, signing out. Well, I think it's time we ask ourselves if we still know the freedoms that were intended for us by the founding fathers. Politicians take from you and me the very liberties that set us free. So Open fight for this democracy is you and me with a resounding saddle of let's ride. Real Americans, please stand up. No more hiding your face in the sand. Will
real American.